it has come to my attention that Fox is in development of a little project called Mega Man. Yes, you heard what? it. The video game from, when was that from, like the 80s? Yeah, it first came out, I think, I don't know, 80, 87 maybe, 86? 87, 86? I mean, they made like when three Nintendo. of them for the Nintendo. They made three of them on the, the original Nintendo, so. So oh, yeah, it's yeah. somewhere in there. Somewhere in there it came out, but it was an original game for the Nintendo. Well, yeah, it was originally for the Nintendo, and if you don't know what Mega Man is, I don't know what rock you were born under, because you had to have been born under said rock and never seen the light of day. Because you would have seen the little sprite jumping around, shooting little pebbles out of his hand. Uh, but yeah, it was originally called Rockman, I believe, back in Japan. Yeah, it's and still called just... Rockman in Japan. I don't know, even entirely understand why they changed it, but I, I guess I like Mega Man. It's a good name, too. So, so it uh... works. But uh, yeah, so the Fox is in development of a movie centering around this video game. And I'll just give you a brief synopsis of the story. There's these two doctors, Dr. Light and Dr. Wily. They're working together to make these androids that are supposed to help humanity. And all of a sudden, Dr. Wiley says, uh, hey, I'm actually evil. I'm going to take all these androids that we just made together and turn them against humanity. So Dr. Light takes his android assistant and turns him into a weapon and sends him out there to battle said androids that are running amok, terrorizing human society. And in each game, I believe you actually confront Dr. Wiley at the end after you've accumulated certain number of powers from each one of the guys you defeat. So, fun game, right? I mean, one of the basis of all games, you know. It, it, it's a Nintendo platformer with some uh, slight RPG elements, because you do have a little bit of customization. You do level up your character a little bit. So, I mean, it was one of the, the, the classic platformers out there. You have Mario and you have Mega Man, which is really yeah, almost what really pushed the home genre of video games to the forefront. So you can thank Mega Man for a lot of what we have now. Um, yeah, he's bought off so many from... games since then too, which have been great games too. And it's like, mm-hmm. I don't know, man. He's Mega Man. He's, he's been Mega everywhere. Man. But, the, but like I said, these are rumors coming out and it's that 20th Century Fox is developing uh, this movie. So that is not the best sign in my opinion, because they've also been developing and released a movie, you know, maybe you heard of it, Hitman Agent 47. That was apparently the worst movie out this summer. So Neil Fox best. is Fox just likes to make lots of stuff. Like they'll take a lot of chances yeah. and they'll end they up with good Fantastic in that. Four, the new Fantastic Four. So that's in that wheelhouse of horrible, horrible movies, not a video game movie, but a horrible but they movie. They also do Dex Men. And they've also they, they also, also did, did the original Star Wars trilogy, but, but they also did X Men Three, and that's pretty yeah, that's darn bad. They, yeah, it's, so you, you just never know with them because they take risks. Kind of hit or miss with them. Um, so we're we're about to see that, and I'm just wondering if there's enough story in the Mega Man, you know, kind of mythos to really make a movie. Maybe you take it out of the original. What was it? One through ten. One through nine was the original X Men's, and then you had Mega Man X, which was Mega Man Ten, right? No, um, or, or did they just skip eight? Yeah, well, they they went nine. up. They had one up till eight, but I think they did seven before they did X, maybe. Um, mm-hmm. But X is just a spinoff series. Uh, yeah, but they so, but they now do have ten Mega more. Man official ones. Okay. But that's more of a, an official. That has more of a story behind it. it. It drives you a little bit deeper than the other Mega Man's did with the introduction of uh, what is it, Zero, his brother, and and there's a lot more customization in that game, especially least, and more building yeah, your character. Definitely from the start, and they did start developing more story. You know, after the first one, the second one starts getting a little bit of story, and they they start making a bunch more story uh, as it went on in the Mega Man series. Like uh, I've seen people talk about place and putting together all the different Mega Man games, like mainline Mega Man games with story. But so it does get heavier later on. You could probably get a movie out of what they develop in the first few movies. Um but definitely you're right. X X is where things start I I think things develop more, but I also just like the feel of X and the style. Yeah and and X doesn't zero kind of turn bad for a second. He gets reprogrammed by Dr. Wiley. In two and three he, X two and three, does. yeah. No, no. X two and three, you get to play as him. In three, you get to play as him. In two, you have to recover his parts, but the uh, the enemy like steals it and then reprograms him. Um, mm-hmm. 
things like that. And then I don't he know. He does pop up, I think, in, in some of the other earlier ones, too, Zero does. So Zero I mean, he's up. there in the first one. I think you're right. He maybe do fight him in the first one, too. Um, just like briefly. And that's maybe that's how he gets destroyed. Although I thought maybe. I know you I fight know, him at least in two. But uh, again, X is where the story really comes in, and they give Zero a real character, and Mega Man does some real things. Now, this is a silent protagonist. I don't know if Mega Man's ever said a word in any of the real Mega Man games. They have, like, Mega Man 64. Oh, he does. Like he actually, before. when he does speak, that's, like, some of the, I don't know, biggest plot points is him saying, like, I think in 5, he reveals that, like, he starts revealing that he um, can break the three rules if he wants to. Of mm, of robotics, know. or that's like kind of indicated that he's able to do so. Um, so that's pretty interesting. And he's because he talks about possibly just killing Wily, even though that would go against the three rules. So, but yeah, might as well just get rid of him if if he's just going to keep coming back and doing the same thing. But that, we're that, we're not in discussion about that. But I do think that there is a foundation for if they try to expand upon and add elements to, and if you get a creative enough, enough uh, group together. You could probably make this into a really cool action movie. Um, I'm not sure if it's there's any more depth to it than that. <laughs> I wouldn't expect much more. I, I'm not expecting any type of Oscar-worthy, you know, performance from any actors. You know, especially somebody who's like, okay, now you don't have this arm. You have a cone on your hand. But I also don't want them mm-hmm. to go the route of just, okay, he's an android that fights other androids, and then call it Mega Man. You know, I want to keep some of the base elements of Mega Man. Yeah, you don't have to have him in the blue suit. That would look really cheesy on film, uh, but you still want some of the base aspects of Mega Man there. I do want to still see some of the traditional like Mega Man villains. They are pretty cool characters, mm-hmm. and I can see them being thrown together in an interesting fashion. You know, he could be battling his way through these groups. If you've ever seen the movie um, Snowpiercer, it's almost like it feels like a video game kind of because they're battling through almost what would be considered levels to get to the final level. Or a movie like Scott Pilgrim versus the World, which again he's kind of battling through the nine boyfriends or and getting to a, a certain part. So you could take it and spin it kind of like that and make a good video game movie out of it. But mm. it, it you never know. And it is 20th Century Fox, and they're hit and miss. So maybe this is a hit. Maybe Were they the ones that um that controlled the old cartoon? You remember the cartoon um, from the nineties? Yeah, I do. I don't know who did the old cartoon to be honest. Because obviously with you. they had they they developed story for that, but it, that's. For yeah, a but that long was series for a cartoon for, for little kids that you don't really need much story for little kids. I mean, they did it though. I, I'm just saying, yeah, like they, they did go. With no, that. they did do it, and I was entertained by that show when I watched it when I was a kid. So it's not like it's the worst thing in the world. But then we also have other video game movies coming out nowadays, and they are really expected to be good. Um, for instance, Michael Fassbender and his Assassin's Creed movie that is expected to actually be a good movie. Now, it's such a again, cinematic uh, game. Yeah, with. it's already more of a cinematic game to begin with, and there's a lot more story to begin with in that, so it's a little bit easier of a transition. But maybe it's harder because you're also condensing down all that story that you had to go through it all for it all to make perfect sense. How do you make it make sense with a still cutting out parts of that story? So that'll be interesting. Um, but then you also have games like uh, Bioshock is being made into a movie, which I'm a little on the fence about, but if done right, it can be amazing. Uh, one movie, one game that I think just screams movie that's being made into a movie is Uncharted. I'm kind of disappointed mm. they're not going to be using Nathan Fillion as Nathan Drake because he really wanted to, and that's my boy from, uh, well, he's in Castle. He's Castle in Castle. He's also um, uh, Mal in uh, Firefly. So he's a really good actor. I think he would play this part really well. And Honestly, then we also have Warcraft. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, oh, ahead, haven't they been talking about that for a while? But um, Warcraft? Yeah, they've been mentioning that. Warcraft off and is off almost for done. Years. Warcraft is production so is almost finally, done. Gonna, finally gonna come out. Okay, that's cool. no, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it, production is pretty much done. I'm pretty sure on that movie, they're just editing it. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess I shouldn't say production. Filming is done on it. Production is still underway, I believe. Yeah. Honestly, so. for um, for all these movies, really, uh, and given the history of movies made made from video games. I, I'm hoping that what they're going to try and do is not recreate stuff we've seen in the games. Yes. Maybe, or and not, and but leave the game story intact. Like try to do something that's a, an additional mm-hmm. story on top of that. 
um, rather than trying to just spin them. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't try to throw away everything. Leave it as if that's part of the same universe, but don't try and redo them. It's mm-hmm. it's, it's a different. We'll movie. do it like kind of like a James Bond movie mm-hmm. does. Exactly. Yeah. In, it all, all every other James Bond movie has happened in all these James Bond universes. Mm-hmm. But it's almost like they hadn't happened. So it's like it's there, but they don't really need to talk about yeah. it. It's just part of the mythos. It's happened. It's there. Just keep it. Continue the story. It's like a new episode yeah. of the story each time you get it. Yeah. Um, I'm another one I forgot to mention. Warcraft is going to do that. That I'm going oh, to Warcraft, imagine Warcraft. I think that's about yeah. the easiest one you could do because it's pretty yeah. much Lord of the Rings. You copy off of that and you're good. No, I'm just saying I, I'm going to imagine that they're going to leave all of their lore intact, and this is going to be like mm-hmm. a transition point. This is going to be big story like a cinema like a giant cinematic scene that they might show at the beginning of a new expansion and then mm-hmm. maybe they'll have an expansion after and it'll be everything after that event i would yeah. imagine they'll incorporate it like that i don't uh, maybe they've already announced that they're doing that maybe they announced they're not doing that i don't know but that seems to make the most sense to me yeah that, w- that would work but then there's another movie uh, video game that's going to be made into a movie which i'm almost scared of and it's a very story driven game and it's metal gear solid series uh, those are very story driven. If you played any of the ones from PlayStation on, they have like 15, 20 hours worth of dialogue. You can just always sit through and they really go through and telling an in-depth story. Now that story is always insanely confusing and 95% of most of those stories make no sense. Even if you're a guy like me, who's played every single game in the series pretty much and still doesn't understand what's going on most of the time. Um, yeah, that's Hideo Kojima for you. Uh, he's a uh, very confusing. Very confusing guy, um, but like I don't. See, that's being made into a movie as well, and I don't see how that would work unless you just pretended everything didn't exist. Here's the basic character outlines. Now let's make a new adventure for these characters. Um, but you can't go along with what they've already done because it's so just convoluted and disjointed over the the games. Now that's not me saying that these games are bad. I love all these games. I, I do want to get Phantom Pain, but the story is just confusing as hell. So. Mega Man, I think, is on the fence. It can go either way. It can be a fun action sci-fi romp, or it can be uh, just an hour and a half of drivel that makes no sense, and we see a bunch of flashing lights on the screen. Yeah, and I can definitely see Mega Man can't, has the potential to do a serious, like, in-depth storyline based off, like, robotics and personality and whether they're mm-hmm. human or right. But I hope that they don't try to do that or not try to do that too heavy. Because I, can I, go I almost so hope they wrong. don't take themselves too seriously. Yeah, because that can go so wrong, and they don't have to go that deep with Mega Man. They can. That's for sure. They can. I just hope they don't try hope to, don't because, to. yeah. Not needed. So what do you let us know what you think. Are you looking forward to a Mega Man movie, um, or do you just hate all video game movies? Hit us up, let us know. Comments down below, of course, at Words My Face on Twitter, Google Plus Facebook. Oh, it's good ways getting a hold of us. And but before you transition... Follow. 